Crews from our area are also in Baltimore assisting. These pictures are from the Prince George's County Police Department. Their Special Operations Division Marine Unit sent nine divers in two boats to assist in the search and rescue efforts there. Our team coverage continues with our Matt Gregory. He's live on the Patapsco River, giving us a sea level view of the current rescue effort that is underway. Matt. Hey, Larry, yeah, we haven't got out there quite yet. We're in Edgemere, just off Jones Creek on our way out. I'm that way to Patapsco, which is where you'll find the key bridge. But uh, for right now, we're McCluskey Marina on our way out. We got here earlier today. We want to show you a video uh, from Sky 9 that uh, really gives you an idea of what this looks like in terms of the actual uh, response there. So uh, we got here early. I think it was about like 9 o'clock or so. We ended up over in uh, Stony Point. And when we were there, we were talking to a gentleman, a retired firefighter. He said he had seen it collapse early this morning. At least he heard it. He said it sounded like an earthquake was how he described it with tremors afterwards. And then he went out to the search and rescue efforts because those had just started around two in the morning. So as we were, you know, going through the day and, and you know, gathering more information, we found that you couldn't get any closer to the search and rescue point. Things had been not had been kind of blocked off over there by uh, Ar Fort Armstead. So we've been going around. But while we were there, rather right before the area where the search and rescue units were coming, we were talking about um, one of the things we were talking about was uh, uh, that while we were there, we met a couple of folks who um, were actually waiting to find out more about the um, the workers there because one of the men we talked to will show you the sound right here. He was supposed to be working that shift. He said right now he's worried about his co workers. Take a listen. I am sad and devastated. They are my friends and we have been co workers for a long time. Recently, I was moved to the morning shift and they stayed on the night shift. So I could have been with them at that time. I just hope they can find them alive. Yeah, and what we want to show you now is video from earlier in the morning. We got this sent to us by someone who's with a first responder. It was a very up close look in those early hours of the collapsed uh, key bridge on top of the uh, that particular um, crew uh, on top of the, the ship right there. You can see it. It's just a mangled mess. It's been a very difficult day. Folks ever here trying to recalibrate what's going to happen next. Obviously, people are worried about um, you know, the, 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 the workers are still looking for the, that, like you heard the gentleman there talking about, but there's other folks we were been talking to. This is going to alter their lives, whether it's the way they work or whether it's uh, how they get their commute going. Like this is, uh, it's a massive impact. It's not just, you know, in addition, I should say, rather to being a major artery for transportation up and down the East Coast, this is a major artery for people's lives in terms of how they uh, do their work, go to school. Uh, all these things. So um, it's something we're going to be having a lot of questions about. We're trying to get those answered throughout the day. We're going to be getting a closer look now. Uh, we're going to get a closer look at the rescue efforts because we're going to go out from here off of the um, off of Jones Creek out into the Patapsco. And by five o'clock, we should have a better eye view of what that looks like with the Coast Guard, with the other search and rescue operate uh, search and rescue units coming from other counties and whatnot. So uh, we'll get that to you. But for now, in Edgemere, Matt Gregory, back to you. I mean, you just really feel for these poor, you know, construction workers who went to work the overnight yeah. shift and did not come home. They're still being searched for at this point. And certainly, that interview from that fellow colleague just lets you know just how delicate the situation is and so tender, which is why officials are being very reserved in their comments. They are consistent are that this is a search and rescue effort and they're not going past that point. Matt Gregory, thank you so much. President Joe Biden also spoke about this tragedy this afternoon. He had this message for the people of Baltimore. I want to say we're with you. We're going to stay with you as long as it takes. And like the governor said, you're Maryland tough, you're Baltimore strong, and we're going to get through this together. And I promise we're not leaving. The president also said that he intends to use federal money to rebuild the bridge. He says he expects Congress to support that effort.